it's so nice with this design to be able to look and see to easily diagnose, to remove, to add cables, super simple. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the three Corsair power supplies that you see here. This is their Shift series featuring the 850X, the 1000X, and the 1200X. All these power supplies have that new, unique, innovative shift feature here for easy to access cable connectors all on the side now. If you're interested in any of the power supplies you see here, the links to them will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. They're all 80 plus gold certified. They all come with a 10 year warranty and they all feature zero RPM mode for the fans. Now let's go ahead, let's open them up and look at the contents. Here's a look at all the contents, very similar, yet there are a couple of differences. They all come with a power cable, as you'd expect, and a bag full of additional cables for your power supply unit. You also notice we have the same zip ties and screws for every unit here and the same safety information, but it is interesting that the 1000 watt version has a different safety and compliance guide. We have the 850 here, the 1000 here, and the 1200 watt version there. We have a couple differences on the power supplies themselves that we'll look at in just a second, but I do want to point out with the included cables, you get three PCIe cables for the 850 watt version, five for the 1000 watt version, and six for the 1200 watt version. Also want to point out with the 850 watt version, you have three SATA cables and you get four SATA cables for both the 1000 and the 1200 watt version. Now let's look at the power supplies themselves and see how they compare to each other. Looking at all the units side by side, you'll notice that our 850 watt version, slightly more compact. It's gonna have the same height, same width. We just have a different length here. The 1000 and 1200 versions are identical to each other. Got the Corsair logo and branding, our model number and the shift branding there. Rotating sides, again, you'll see everything's identical. We have the same danger high voltage warning sticker there on one of the screws. Next, you'll see the shift side where we have all of our connector options here. You'll notice as we increase in wattage, we continue to add some additional PCIe CPU connectors. Everything's very standard and uniform on this side right here where we have our power cord connection option and our toggle on and off switch with Corsair's logo and branding and a reminder letting us know that we have our silent operation at basically low to moderate load. So don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your power supply. Just a friendly reminder there all the same standardized screw hole locations. And on this side, you'll notice our labels right here. Everything again appears to be identical besides the model number changing here and the wattage on the chart. And lastly, looking at the fan side here, we have the same 140 millimeter fan across all variants of this power supply with the Corsair logo and branding front and center. Friendly reminder again, don't forget about the silent operation, the zero RPM fan mode. So I've tried out all the power supplies. They get the proper readings and voltage that you would expect right out of the box. So that's always a good thing. They're gonna work as advertised. Also wanted to show you what they look like installed right here. You get the idea. We have the 1200 watt version in. The 1000 and the 850 will look eerily similar, especially since we'll be using the same connections here. But it's so nice with this design to be able to look and see to easily diagnose, to remove, to add cables, super simple. And just having that access right here at your fingertips, as opposed to trying to reach through the side, it is a nice luxury to have. Depending on your build and your case, it might be a necessity. So for us with this design of the Height Y40, we do have enough room for our cables right here and to still have our panel fastened securely. Keep in mind, if you're gonna add a bunch of cables and connection options, you can have this really full. You wanna take that into consideration as you plan your build and choose which case you wanna use this power supply with. An added bonus of this particular case with this setup is now we don't have any of our cables coming out and obstructing any airflow from our fan. If you can see, we actually have our air intake fan down here because we have glass front panel and our glass side panel. So it's not gonna block any airflow or be in the way with that fan. Everything's off to the side, out of the way. Quick reminder, when it comes to your GPU and powering it with your power supply, all three units come with a 12 pin cable, but the TDP varies depending on your power supply unit. So the 850 supports up to 300 watts. 
that should be good for a 4070 Ti or less. The 1000 watt version supports up to 450 watts TDP. And then lastly, the 1200 watt version supports up to 600 watts TDP. So just make sure you're getting the correct one for your GPU and obviously the overall power consumption of your build. All these power supplies are equipped with the exact same 10 year warranty. So keep that in mind. Really what you have to calculate is the wattage you need for your build. And that will allow you to pick and choose which power supply is right for you. Also, just remember you are paying a premium for this feature, having it on the side. So make sure you're taking advantage of that in your build. If you're not, you're better off saving a couple bucks buying a very similar Corsair non-shift power supply or obviously other power supplies on the market. So if you need that shift feature, you will enjoy having it. You will pay extra for it. If you don't need it, you're better off saving a couple bucks and getting just your plain old boring power supply.